guys and welcome to another one of my vlogs. Well, I've had a wicked, exciting week. JB Rose Singing Vegan Mum was out on a school night twice, Monday and Thursday. Monday night I went to a video shoot and I was in the video for a lovely lady called Ayana Wutter Johnson. And then last night I was singing at a restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, and I was singing a lot of songs for the lovers out there. So I'll show you those videos later. I'm gonna be making jerk breadfruit roll up. What is breadfruit? Well, it's a fruit that you can get in the Caribbean. In fact, I've got a tin of it somewhere here. Here is the breadfruit. So that's what a breadfruit looks like. I'm doing a quick and easy version. So I'm actually using the, the jerk seasoning from a pound, but I'm gonna add my own thing. So what we have here is 100 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of chickpea flour, and 100 grams of uh, vegan butter. And I'm gonna make into breadcrumbs. So guys, you've seen me make pastry before. When you look back on some of my old recipes, especially chickpea patty, you'll see how I make pastry. And then here is our pastry. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it in the fridge just to let it cool. Pastry really works best when you give it a little time to cool. So here is our tin breadfruit, guys. And what I'm gonna do is chop it up. So here is our jerk fruit, all chopped up. I have some jerk seasoning here and I'm going to add generous amounts to my thing. Turmeric, garlic powder, some seasoned oil, cayenne pepper. So it's going to be kind of hot guys. So make sure you mix it all up. Add some soy sauce. Put your ingredients in here to fry. I'm frying this down nicely. Now in the jerk seasoning, it's got lovely things like coriander, but you can also smell, if this was smell -o vision you can smell the clover, you can smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg that's in there. It's got lots of chilies and stuff in there, all spice, and that's what gives it that dynamic flavor. Ideally, if you had an opportunity to make this the night before and marinate it, then your flavors would really come through. So I have fried off my, my jerk breadfruit and I'm gonna set that aside. And now I'm gonna fry again, just some onions and some garlics, some garlics. Mix it all together. And in the oven, I have some tofu. Now tofu is usually quite soft. So what I've done is I'm baking it so it's a little bit harder. And I'm gonna mix it all together. My son's not well, he's at home with me today. So my onions are sweated through nicely. And now I'm gonna add back, I'm gonna add back my breadfruit and I'm gonna mix that through. Is that yeah, it's a, it's a Caribbean, fruit kind it's called breadfruit shall i show you the tin orange. you're not orange without cut you an orange look that's breadfruit yeah. my son's not well and he wants an orange and whatever the sick boy wants the sick boy gets do you want one or two okay. two oranges for a sick boy it's our jerk thing going nicely oh so there's our jerk thing going nicely there's my boy's oranges and in the oven i have I have been baking some tofu, which will be nice and firm. I'm going to add that to our ingredients too. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil. And we all know the benefits of coconut oil is really, really good for you. And finally, I'm going to add in my baked tofu. Mix it all up. Now, you know this, Mill, you can not do what I'm going to do next with it. And you can just have this with rice. Uh, and some vegetables. Um, as a standalone, it's delicious all by itself. So now I'm gonna take my pastry and I'm gonna roll it out into a great big long oblong shape. So guys, I've rolled my pastry out into a long oblong and then what I've done is I've um, greased a tin where I'm gonna put my pastry in. As you can see, all these little white bits, or all these white bits are the tofu. So here is my pastry and all I'm going to do is simply roll it up. So I'm just going to roll it up. This is how it's going to be looking like this. 
I'm going to squeeze the ends. So it's supposed to look rough already. It's not supposed to look pretty. It's supposed to look Caribbean rustic. I'm going to get some plant milk. Just going to brush all the, the pastry bits. Just get a little bit of brown colour going when we cook it. it. Still smells beautiful even though it's not cooking anymore. And now it's going to go in the oven for 20 minutes. To go with my jerk roll up, I'm going to make myself a cucumber salad. So I'm making a dressing. In the dressing has vinegar, white wine sauce, Dijon mustard, salt, soya sauce, and I'm mixing it all up. Rock it. I'm going to add in the cucumbers. And with some red onions. That's beautiful. That is ready. And the moment of truth is my breadfruit roll-up. That is looking handsome. I'm going to show you. Beautiful, lovely colour. And you can see our little jerk breadfruit in the middle there and our lovely pastry looking lovely. So as I said earlier in the video, last Monday I went to a video shoot for a lovely young lady called Ayana Witter Johnson. Beautiful celloist and singer. <laughs> Ayana with her Johnson. There is the lady here now, a star. <laughs> and I'm still out on school night and I'm not leaving. I'm here having a good time hanging out with everybody. I got there at 9 o'clock and it was going to finish at 10. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be even in the video, but it was still nice to be out. And then, as I said last night, I was at the Oriental in Essex where I sang on Valentine's night. <laughs> Sing, I'm about to go on stage. So I'm doing two sets, two sets of two, um, two sittings, or 6.30 sitting where I'm doing a 20 minutes break, 20 minutes. And then at 8.30 I'm doing a 20 minutes break, 20 minutes. And I'm talking about love, love, love. So I'm gonna try my jerk breadfruit roll up. Mm, it's delicious. The jerk seasoning is so nice. So I have lots of people saying that vegan food is boring, but hey, is this boring? This is delicious. You know what's nice about this is that you can taste all the flavours from the jerk and then because I added a little bit of pepper and cayenne it's actually quite peppery but not in a <coughs> way. I'm gonna have another go uh, a little bit with um, the tofu. Can we put tofu in here? Mmm mm, delicious. Mmm along with my green salad. Wow ah, beautiful. So guys, if you like my recipe, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you again next Sunday. <laughs>